Hey guys, Wonder the Gamer here, and um, I'm just gonna say that I think I'm going to put every story that I'm writing with onto, on you know, the four different books I said I was gonna write after this book I wrote, and um, I think I'm gonna put it all in one book, and I feel like that's a really good situation right there because then I don't have to explain it in four different books just to tell you the gist of what's going on and um i really love that how you guys are commenting down that it's really good and, and personally i am having fun writing it uh, oh, if you're wondering what's wrong i, I cut myself this morning D don't ask why <laughs> i'm fine anywho um like I i'm just so glad y'all are giving me all this support and it's good to know that I have friends who will, like, be there for me. Because, like, um, <clears throat> when I was, like, very young, uh, I didn't really keep friends due to moving a lot. I really haven't been able to keep in contact with mostly anyone. But right now, I'm keeping in contact, like... Ever since I moved to where I am now, I've just been, like, not really social. But, y'all somehow cracked my shell of discomfort. Like, you, you somehow cracked my discomfort, my doubt, my sadness. You guys somehow chipped away pieces of it every single day of my life. And... I just feel sad now that everyone's going their different ways, and I know I know this won't last forever, but I'm kind of I kind of wish it did, cause like five years later I'm gonna be 18, I'm gonna be in college, I'm gonna be having barely any time to spend with y'all, and then like when I get out and go into the world and have a job, I might have a family. I'm not gonna be able to see any of you, and it just breaks me to know that I won't be able to see any of you ever again once I get older, once I have children, of course, like, I wouldn't be so busy I can barely just sit down, grab my device, and just hang out with you, like, it personally breaks me more than you could know, because... Any of you who watch my videos know that I'm always happy, I'm not sad, or I'm pretending to be sad because I miss someone. But like, in all seriousness, guys, you do not know I would be sad if, um, if you asked me what's wrong. I would just shrug it off and not tell anyone what's going on with me, because I don't like telling people how I feel. It's just who I am, and like... I kind of wish I spoke up about how I felt because probably I wouldn't have depressing, like, depressed issues or try and not be that moody as much. Like, because I only moved down here because my mom wasn't really happy or anything. And I really didn't have a choice at the time. And, uh... It. Sorry, I really didn't have a choice to, um, you know, like, I didn't have time to get my own phone so I can keep in contact with people. I didn't have time to get numbers because, like, I was that kid who didn't need a house number just to be your friend. Like, I was the kid who went, like, oh, hey, yeah, it's it, blah, 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 let's go have fun, yeah, 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 we're friends forever, yeah. But, <clears throat> let alone my sad story, it's just that I'm actually going through hard times right now. It's just that, like, my brother, I can barely see him. And he's 18 right now, or 19. I really don't get to see him a lot. And my sister, thank God, my mom and dad let her have Twitter or, or Instagram, whatever that is. And... I'm just kind of glad she's trying to talk to him, and we're trying to get him down for the holidays. And like, cause Christmas is literally after.
after Thanksgiving. There's already Christmas music playing. I have Christmas music playing right now because, like, this is a... Like, I love Christmas and everything, but, like, I'm not... I don't love the gifts. I love the decorating. I love being festive. But let alone aside that, before I get off topic, like, we, I haven't seen my brother for nearly... I'm 13 now, and he left me. He, like, left us all when I was at 10 years old. And his mom just wouldn't let us see him. His mom wouldn't let us talk, call him, or let him call us. And, um, uh, it's just heartbreaking to know that the person you looked up to as a child, you really loved, and you didn't want to lose that person, wasn't allowed to see you or call you, and, um, like, it, it, it pains me more than you guys know, uh, I'm telling you the truth on what is going on, and, um, I'm not really proud of what's going on, but, um, I, I really wish things wouldn't, didn't turn out like this, like, things didn't turn out him leaving, and, um, he didn't even know our, his dog died, like, his dog, the dog he loved, that we owned, his name was Max, um, he got hit, and my brother never knew that until I told him that we got a new dog because of Max's death. And Remy is that dog who replaced Max, but I know he cannot fully replace my doggy. And, um, this, this is like, really pains me to tell you guys about <laughs> everything. Like, no, no, my mom and dad are at home right now because this is the time I feel like I can open up. I'm just like, I don't like opening up to my parents, personally, but I don't really like opening up to anyone, but I feel like this is necessary for y'all to know why I am like this, why I'm always being, trying to be a goofball, why I'm always doing this, why I'm trying to keep my po composure. I'm really trying hard enough not to break down and just lose it all because I already lost so many people right now. It's um, hard to believe what can happen to you in just a blink of an eye. And um, I really don't want to cry in camera, but I feel like I need to. And um, I'm literally about to cry, but <laughs> um, I really don't care. And um, I'd rather cry then hold it all in, and, um, I really, really wish that I could see everyone again, just, cause I just miss, miss everyone, like, I kept moving and stuff, and I never really got a chance to keep friends that well, like, Dash, she was, she was the only good friend I had for fourth grade, bullied, yes, almost my whole entire year of fourth grade, bullying, yes, but Dash, she's been bullied her whole life, and I think me and her, um, held each other together, and then, when I started playing Pocket Edition in my spare time, because I wasn't allowed to play Playstations during the week, because I didn't have that many friends, so I always kept playing with PS3, and my mom and dad always said, no, you can't play that, you can't play that all day, every day. And I'm like, well, I have my Kindle, might as well use it. And so, thanks to Blaze and Dark Spike, thanks to Blaze and Dark Spike, they showed, they showed me how to get servers on SG. Like, they showed me how to get SG and everything, and, um, it, it's just... I kept playing, I waited only for Blaze and Dark Spike, because they're the only people I knew well on Pocket Edition and in real life. So then one day, I meet Gal. Uh, it's just that after I met Gal, everyone started falling into place. And as everyone came into place, I felt like I was somewhere where I'm accepted for who I am, and not for just what I am. Because... Um, people assumed 
I was a weird, quiet kid who never spoke. Like, I didn't even try speaking to anyone outside of my household. Because, like, I figured ever since I got bullied and stuff that people were going to be straight up rude to me. And, um, that kind of left me in a awkward situation to where I didn't really want to make new friends that much. And my parents were always pestering me, make new friends outside the screen, and I'm going like, I can't do that. Like, I don't, I don't want to, I, I don't, I tried telling them I can't do it. I can't do it. And I just keep my voice down. I just keep myself quiet and don't ever tell them what's going on. And like, I really don't tell my family what's wrong, and I feel like I wish I did back then, because then maybe I would still have my brother to today. If I told my brother what was happening, and if I told my mom and dad what, what I think is going on with him, because personally, I think in high school, before he left, I think he was um, being bullied or someone was pressuring him to do something and I always saw it on his face but I never said anything and I kind of regret that now because right now I just don't know if um, I'll ever see him again at this point I really don't know like he's in college right now and um, I'm sorry I'm crying right now um, and uh I'm just kind of hoping that one day I'll be able to see him. I'll be able to hold him close and just tell him I'm sorry for everything I done. Because I feel like mostly it was um, my fault that, because I told him every time he did mean pranks on me, I told him I hated him. I hope he would go away. And... I can't believe I said those things to my only brother and I'm kind of regretting that right now and I just want to be able to tell him I'm sorry I just want to be able to hold him I just want to be able to hug him you don't know how much that you would hate one person you could hate that person but then when they go away you realize how much you need them it's called, like, he was being a tough brother like he's supposed to be. Like, a bit tough, always being a joker. And, um, I kind of didn't like that as a kid. Now, mind you, I was, like, <laughs> I was, like, 7 through 9 and 10. I really did not love his pranks. I hated them so much. And I one day, I just had to yell at him about that. And then mom and dad kept pestering him about his grades and everything. And taking his phone away and everything. But, um, that really didn't help him because he started getting mad and everything. And then one day while I was doing my homework, I, I saw him pull a knife out at my at our dad. Like, he, he didn't stab him or anything. He was just angry. And you know how you need to let all that anger out? Like... Me and my sister were crying, and I was scared to see that my brother had all that anger. And I wish I'd done something about it. But right now, I, I wish his mom would be kind enough to just let him see us once. I want, I just wish I knew how he was doing. And if I could ever have the chance to go anywhere in the world right now, I would want to be with my brother more than anything ever it just hurts because every holiday every even on his birthday i cannot call him or tell him happy birthday or merry christmas or have a happy thanksgiving i can't just go go on a house phone dial him and um call him and tell him how i feel and um so yeah and it's just painful to know that. And as y'all kept leaving me 
while I was going through some situations. Like, personally, I wish I can keep you all to myself. Just keep you in my pocket and never let you go. But as life moves on, you have to let things go. You have to let people leave your nest. You, you have to leave your comfort. And I've been holding so many emotions in for all these years, ever since I moved here. I've been holding so much emotion in. I, I really didn't feel happy. And I don't feel happy right now that I've done this. I wish I made better choices in my life. But, um, I kinda didn't. And I'm just glad that you all were there for me. No matter what I did. And, um, this this means so much to me to know that I have people who care about me because right now like literally my brother says he wishes he could see us he went he told my sister and my dad he wishes he could see us and he just can't and I feel like that's not fair for him because he's a young adult right now who's stuck with a mom who keeps going through men like that and he has like three other brothers who are not related to me at all like and like I don't really like them because they get to see him they get to keep them him all for himself like I don't really know them and I still don't like them I don't know why I don't but like, it's a sense thing. When you're a sibling, you sense things and you don't like what the other brother, what your brother has other siblings for because you think that they're always gonna be there for you. But I heard, the, I heard, learned, I every day I learned the hard way that no, no one's gonna be there all the time for you. Even I learned my parents will not be there for me all the time, like, and um, and no one knows, because every day at school, I put a fake little smile on my face. I, I, I always do my best. I always stay quiet. I do what I need to do. And the teachers don't suspect that I'm dying inside from so many things. And I think the only thing that kept me sane was you guys, because I felt like I was gonna break down and start thinking I'm not I'm, I'm nothing I'm just something that people can use I'm just a tool what you guys prove to me I'm not a tool I'm, I'm, I'm not something that is a nothing I am something that is worth something to do in this world and I thank you guys for that and like so many things are just hard even on the holidays like you want to see your family and like I I was originally trying to do this video to thank you for doing the book I, I'm so sorry if I escalated to something else but I just feel like it was necessary to do this and I feel like if I ten five years from now I'm gonna look back at this and realize that I've done something that I should have done ever since I that I should have done before I became a hot mess like before I became a big dramatic moody queen who just wanted nothing to do but sit in her room and wish that everything didn't turn out like the way it, like it was but that's how life is. You don't know what's going to happen. You don't know what will happen. You don't you don't know what whatever is going to happen cuz life can be cruel and life can be beautiful. It's just that I really don't feel like I'm happy about this at all and I feel like I was a wasted t piece of time that God created for no reason I felt like I was something wasted 
something that was not supposed to be created. I felt like everything was my fault. I felt that I was a big nobody and I felt that nobody would ever care about me. But you guys proved that I'm something. I'm a big something that should deserve to be here to this day. And I thank you all for that. And I hope you guys will have a better Christmas than me or a better Thanksgiving. But probably after this video, after I upload it and everything, it will probably be uploaded by Saturday. Because I usually upload during my sleep. <laughs> um, I feel like you guys deserve to be rewarded for what you've done. You guys changed my life. And my sister doesn't know how much you guys mean to me. Because all she sees is that you're a, d a bunch of dumb online people who th pretend to like me. Who pretend to hang out with me just to make me feel good about myself. But you guys didn't do that. And I thank you for it. And um, I just want to thank you all for keeping me here this long. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I'm Gamer. I'm sorry I made this a very sad video. But please have a Merry Christmas and have a happy, happy Thanksgiving. And remember, it's about, no, Thanksgiving is about saying thank you, saying thanks, and Christmas is about giving, not receiving. And um, I want to thank you guys so much for letting me get this all out. I feel so much better as a person. Anyway guys, see ya. Bye.